Hello and welcome to Take a Pew. I'm Alex Court and today I'm joined by James Lyons and he's here to tell us about flute boxing. So James, flute boxing, take us through it. Well, flute boxing is whereby you basically beatbox through a flute. Anyway, you're in band. My band, your the band. Fire Beneath the Sea. Yeah, tell us about your band. So my band's called The Fire Beneath the Sea, so it's um, it's an 11-piece experimental hip-hop band. Mm. At the minute, we have four MCs, a female vocalist, cool. um, a saxophone trumpet, three-piece backline, and a scratch DJ. And we play lots of different styles of music with, with lots of kind of fast mm. bar swappy rap over the top of it. So would you say was that uh, it attracts quite, quite a broad uh, audience, or is it quite specific still? I think... Um, mm. Com- compared to what we used to experience in terms of the hip hop scene, where mm. like, especially in Liverpool, generally the only people you'd really get at hip hop nights yeah. would be other rappers. So it's this, and not a lot of girls either. It's the really <laughs> male dominated kind of thing where lots of lots of rappers kind of stood on walls mm. looking at you perform, and then you kind of watch them. And right, so yeah. since we've kind of started it as a live band and yeah. taken more of a positive. Um, kind of roots on it. It's it's the, the response has been fantastic. We get people dancing, which is which is a first, nice. which is good, which you don't really we never really experienced in, like in the hip hop scene. Yeah, I was gonna say so. I mean, has I mean, has the uh, has been like warmly received by the hip hop scene in Liverpool? I mean, how, how how do they regard you? Certainly, the people who are the more sort of hardcore, you know, members. I don't know. Don't really. Man. Don't really have much to do with the hip hop yeah. scene since we we That's play we play like. Um, we're playing the live music scene mm. now. If you think it's more on the band scene, so we're we're kind of playing along lots of different styles of music. Yeah. We don't actually play with a lot of other kind of hip hop artists. So it's sort of your into your own sort of uh, genre almost. Then, but this we're band, trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's great. I mean, so have you you were saying uh, you mentioned uh, you played some festivals uh, yeah, as yeah. well recently. Yeah. So uh, um, so we've. This summer we played at Symmetry Festival down in Norfolk, Ravenstone Fe- Dale, it was Ravenstone Dale Festival in Cumbria, Beater the Festival in Lancashire, um, Boomtown Boom Festival, Town, yeah. Shambhala Festival. Uh, I mean, on, on a broader scale, like people, you know, they come up to you at the end and say, "Oh, I didn't realise, you know, it could be like that to listen to hip hop." I mean, people, people who would normally be hip hop fans per se. I wouldn't listen to it normally. We get a lot of positive response yeah. from it. Um, we get a we get a awful because our our ethos is instead of it kind of I don't know tying in with the kind of the, the theme that you get with a lot, with a lot of bands whereby it's this separate divided of kind of we are the band you are the crowd yeah you're gonna yeah dance. It's a lot of that isn't it? we have a, we try and it's, for us it's all about everybody together all this kind of kind of trying to create a really good energy so we get we got a lot of positive response afterwards what i mean what was the sort of the uh the genesis of the band i mean who uh who started it i mean what was what what, what was the sort of the main reason was was it simply we're sick of how hip-hop you know the hip-hop scene is you know this sort of and more of an attitude than an actual thing you know um was that was that the main driving force pretty so, much yeah. yeah it's it was a bit of a fairy tale start we were oh, at really? a festival me and um, my little brother and two other MCs who aren't actually don't actually play with the band now, mm. who, who are doing their own thing now. Um, we we were at a festival and we went on a little bit of a, a mission outside the festival in in this beautiful like Welsh countryside. <laughs> and whilst having a wonder wonder around, just kind of got talking. Yeah. Um, and we've been we've been um, working together in in a couple of months before and writing some stuff for the first time. And then we come up with the name The Fire Beneath the Sea. And then um, kind of sat down and kind of we wrote a scroll which had kind of like a manifesto of kind of <laughs> things that we wanted to try and achieve and things. Ah. And then from there, so we, we operated as, as a hip hop band with a yeah. DJ and a bassist for the first year. And mm. then after a year, we turned it into a full live band. So what would, I mean, I don't, I don't need to try and recite it now, but what, what sort of things were on your manifesto? I mean, it's quite nice to have a band manifesto. Um, that um, One thing was like, we are not the best, we are the only. So you Ooh. get a lot of... Competitiveness like in rap, where a lot yeah. of people, a lot of other rappers care about, or, or like, so not to generalise from my yeah. past experience anyway. Get a lot of other rappers who care about what other rappers mm. are up to all the time. So it's it's always this: am I better than him? And mm. da, da, da. so our idea was, if we do our own thing, who cares? You can't really compare it to what anybody else is yeah. doing. So therefore, it negates the idea of competitiveness or competition whatsoever. It's just focus on just being doing what we do. Don't care about what anybody else is doing too much. Mm, obviously, yeah. In, in, well, obviously, showing respect. Yeah. And, and love for when people are doing good things, but oh, course, in terms yeah. of what we're doing, just focus on what we're mm. doing. So, sorry, I mean, is, is there any other, you know, bands or groups or individuals you would compare yourself to? It's kind of maybe, I don't know, 
um, the vibe and the party on stage of kind of like um, Funkadelic and Parliament, oh, like brilliant. kind of bright, bright colours and costumes and stuff on stage. Oh, you wear costumes? Yeah, at times, yeah. Ah, I've got to run me through what sort of costumes do you wear, wouldn't you? Anything, Mad Hats yeah. and Mad Hats onesies, um, <laughs> big, mad, flary pants, wigs, face paints, anything oh, wow. that just makes it look bright and colourful, basically. That, that, that sounds absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know... Um, so what uh, you obviously you know you have got the music side of it, the band, etc. Um, but you also do work in schools. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, run me through that side of it, the educational side. Started when I was seventeen. So yeah, about ten years I've been oh, wow. working teaching rap and teaching rap workshops, mm. and then uh, more recently started teaching beatbox as part of one of them as well. Yeah. So would you say that? I mean, that is. I, mean, I don't get sort of too heavy into that sort of this stuff. But I mean, would that would that's more of a, a an idea of how uh, you know hip hop certainly is more widely accepted now. I mean, the fact that they're led into schools and they see it as being a positive influence on children rather than being you know what's going to corrupt them, it's going to you know turn them into no goods, whatever. Yeah. Well, it's um, yeah, it's trying to undo a lot of the work that's a lot of the, trying to undo a lot of the bad work that's been done by the media mm. in in corrupting. The, actually what I mean the fact that you even say that, that, that hip hop could be a negative thing if you actually look at its roots it was this fantastic force that came out of a really rough rough area mm. in, in America and kind of was fighting against gang, gang culture course, yeah. it was a kind of way out from gang culture to start with and then it's well, it's a long story isn't it but, please um, but, yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been, yeah, it got corrupted <laughs> and basically then so most mm, people especially yeah. a lot of people in England unless you look inside the underground of it see it as a kind of negative gangster thing so Jack going into schools yeah. and trying to um Show that it's about it's 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 about using words as your words as an instrument, and it's not it's got nothing to do with being a gangster, really. Well, no, absolutely. Or, or, or being negative or aggressive, really. When you look at it, it's right at the, at the true core of it. Mm. Oh, yeah. If you find a love for life that loves you back, no matter where it sends you, you've got to trust the track. And maybe what it's trying to teach you is deeper than your sense of what is good or bad. And maybe there's a soul inside your body. You're not just a stack of random particles. See the similarities instead of differences and start to build. Your heart is filled with potential energy, but your mind needs to charge you still or else you judge and hate and waste your time or even harm and kill. Life is precious, the mask you wear right now is unique, the stars are land to put you in the place you need to be to speak and reap rewards of lessons. Cause if you're feeling bored or stressed, you're not going deep enough. Give your life assessment. If you're not loving what you do, then sack it, scrap it, send it back and back to whichever bastard slapped it in your lap and said you had that as your only path. Master whatever makes your dream laugh or feel a cardiac flash. Cause that's a sign of passion. And everything else is just a loop and race where you're flagging dragged down by a massive baton. Mental gain to society strange remain. You need to get the cash, you know you can't get fat or follow fashion. Lots of people don't care about the earth or animals or humankind but care about what money's worth and who's in style with rumours spreading gossiping. Judging dualistic minds where all one disguised as many hopefully will in this in time a present stitching flicks are positive instead of a future distant and the fabric tripping quickly wide jib off sniffing lines and drinking wine and lighting bifters just to get a fickle high go inside turn off mind switch on mystic high view the hidden shrine and feel the inner bliss of spit of shine don't dance down the wrong road fly kiss the sky ask me more about it if these lyrics slightly mystify or ignore them and nibble upon your fingertips until you die all right, so what and what is the plan then for James yourself and and your band? Then what is the future future holding in terms of mu- musicality? Oh, I to try and explore as many different yeah. try and explore as many different um, avenues of music and styles of music. Push it forward, keep learning things, and try and make as many people dance as possible in as many different places as possible. That well, sounds like a pretty a pretty noble uh, reason for doing it. I mean, I mean, what what I mean, what do you feel is 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 the future of of hip hop? I mean, I know it's a big question, but I mean, you know, obviously, this is obviously a, a part of it. I mean, in, in terms of you know what you're doing, um, it's pushing it forward. I mean, can can you see you know where it will go next? The future of hip hop. Yeah. It's a big question, I know, but you know. <laughs> probably worse. It, well, on a commercial level, mm. probably worse and worse music. Yeah. Less and less intelligent lyrics, and true. more more sexism and horrible things. In terms of as the business grows, it seems to be going that way. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Ho- hopefully, the, the future hip hop is that you get more and more kind of conscious styles, more women involved as well, because it's a really yeah. kind of. It's, I don't know. Creativity is a feminine, feminine force, and hip hop itself, which you can, which you can hear in the content mm. of, it's very masculine and very chauvinistic and yeah. competitive. So I don't know. Less competitiveness, more kind of inclusion, yeah. more positivity, more f- more funky beats rather than horrible dark, yeah, funny stuff. That's it. Well, Hopefully, that's everyone. me. But it's every, each to their own. That's 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 for me. But you know, that's your place, I suppose, to cut a path. You mm-hmm. know, into that into that. I guess. Well, I mean, fingers crossed. Well, I think that is a good point for you to show us some uplifting. Um, you know, flute boxing, harmonica boxing, okay, whatever, yeah. whatever you whatever you want to start with. Okay.